Our planet is special and it's unique. Not only do we have beautiful natural trees, but we also have beautiful beaches, cultures, traditions and much more. We are struggling with a never-ending exploration of our planet, and each time we think we have found an answer, we get hundreds of new questions related to it. Our seas and oceans are probably one of the biggest mysteries. This is because the oceans are so vast. The whole underwater world is completely different from what we have known so far. There's all kinds of new species, places and even objects found in our oceans and seas. At first it would be hard to say the oceans and even our cities are on the same planet. The exploration of such depths is extremely dangerous. This means the researchers are required to have the proper equipment, knowledge and the skill to get more information about everything we got to ask. They do preparations and tests before heading into such unknown depths. We are curious. We always seek new answers and we are always looking for something new to work on. Throughout the years we have found all kinds of different artefacts. Multiple variations of sea life and ecosystems we have never seen before. Some depths of our oceans do look completely different from what we thought. It looks like a whole different world. So in this video we take a look at mysterious ocean discoveries. Rare Sea Life in Underwater Mountains The scientists travelled deep under the ocean's surface to explore this underwater mountain. This mountain ranges of cone-shaped dormant and volcanoes raising at their peaks 3,000 metres above the sea floor of the coast of Hawaii. Conservation International Research has found something amazing. Their findings are a window into one of the most mysterious spots in the ocean. There are tens of thousands of sea mounts all over the ocean of our planet. Sadly, many of them have never been explored. The researchers used two submersibles equipped with multiple cameras, and they went into the cold, dark and high-pressured ocean depths. They actually found that each seamount had its own diverse and distinct ecosystem. They found all kinds of strange creatures, including the floppy-eared Dumbo octopus, cutthroat eels, kite-fin sharks and many other unusual species of coral. In one of the videos they recorded, they managed to capture a Dumbo octopus gracefully gliding along the sea floor. Its body colour shifted as it was swimming around the area. One of the scientists who had been observing said the octopus appeared to be molting. Exploration expeditions like this will surely improve scientists and their understanding of the sea mount's role in ocean ecology. Oldest soft bodied marine fossils. Incredibly, paleontologists have managed to find more than 1,500 soft-body marine animal fossils. Some of these fossils date to nearly 500 million years old. This is a huge discovery. It provides us with more understanding of marine life at that time. It's been suggested these soft-body sea creatures did not die off due to a major extinction event in the Cambrian period as we previously thought. Finding fossils of soft-bodied animals is extremely rare. The squishy parts tend to not hold up as long as the bones and shells over time. They wear away before they can leave an impression at all. These newly discovered fossils represent various animals, some of which include mollusks, sponges, horseshoe crabs and worms. Pretty much all of these creatures lived between 480 million and 472 million years ago. These are currently the oldest ones discovered from this period. The team was led by researchers from Yale University and they discovered the fossils at the upper and lower formations in Morocco. These fossils are complete specimens that make us believe soft-bodied animals appeared 30 minutes before we thought. The conditions that managed to create the upper and lower formations were truly perfect for preserving all these soft-bodied marine animals. Calm waters and rapid burial were protecting the animals and their bodies from the predators. To provide a bit more understanding for the marine life at the time, the team is focusing to find more fossils and to see what species were represented at the time. The most lifeless place in the oceans We usually talk about abandoned places or buildings, but scientists just discovered a mysterious place in the ocean, and they claim it might be the most lifeless place in the oceans ever. The seafloor sediments found in the middle of the South Pacific are shown to have fewer living cells than anywhere else previously measured on our planet. Dr. Stephen is an oceanographer of the University of Rhode Island. He and his colleagues took a boat and went outwards in the middle of the ocean. They collected cylindrical samples of cores of sediments from the bottom of the sea. 
it was nearly six kilometers deep. They found around 1,000 living cells in each cubic centimeter of the sediment. That is approximately 1,000 less than any other seafloor sediments that we know of. Dr. Stephen believes that further research might show other areas out in the middle of the ocean having the same devoid of life. The results of his research were published in the Journal Proceedings of the Natural Academy of Sciences. The microbes they found appear to be partially subsisting on hydrogen atoms, which were released when radioactive elements decayed and broke water molecules. This process is rather rare and it produces only small amounts of food. The other half of the microbes' food comes from the organic matter that is found from the surface down to the depths of our beautiful oceans. We often hear that oceans are the lively places of our planet. However, this research shows that certain parts of our ocean may not be as lively as we thought. Mysterious Worms Incredibly, last year over 1,500 new species were discovered. Faceless worms have recently been discovered by scientists off the coast of Australia. What stands out about these creatures is that they're blood red and have a craving for bones. It was recently observed by the scientists that a pilot whale's spine and skull had these creatures buried deep within. The worms were observed eating the marrow from the bone. The worms had been found previously in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, but this is the first time they've been found off the coast of Australia. Scientists have said the faceless worms are about a million years old, and they may have eaten the bones of aquatic prehistoric creatures. The scientists and researchers have been studying these waters for years now, and these worms are among hundreds of marine creatures that are rarely seen. The team consisted of 58 scientists along with technicians. The chief scientist on board, Dr. Tim O'Hara, said the following about the discovery. The worms are a find that is exciting given the very unusual way in which they feed. The worms do not have what can be described as a proper mouth. Instead, they use tentacles to eat bone marrow when it's been broken down by bacteria. They live in a soup of bacteria as they suck up all the nutrients. Dr. Horace said that studying these worms has been fascinating, and has given the researchers a look into how they managed to move from one skeleton to another. The scientists have studied these creatures for many years, and have found that these worms are everywhere in the plankton. They seem to just wait there for a whale to fall onto the sea floor. These creatures are still being observed by scientists. As mentioned, the worms lack mouse and digestive systems, and instead use root-like appendages packed with bacteria to feed on the bones of dead whales on the sea floor. What's incredible is that 3D scans of a plateau shore showed ball marks similar to that found on whales. This has made the researchers suggest that these worms fed on these ancient reptiles. These fascinating creatures have lived in our oceans for millions of years, and it seems that their strategy has evolved to make them the perfect predator. Artifacts and Objects Found at Antikythera Shipwreck In 2017, divers returned to the Antikythera Shipwreck. A graceful bronze arm had been discovered, and it was just recently recovered from a shipwreck not far from the island of Antikythera. The site itself is known for interesting artifact findings, as well as the astronomical computer and calculator we call Antikythera Mechanism. The recent discovery joined other bronze and marble statue fragments that have been discovered in the same expedition. The artifacts found here indicate there are more possible statues around. Some of them might be buried in the seabed around the wrecked vessel. According to the Excavation Project website, the bronze statue arm was the first object recovered from the shipwreck when it was discovered in 1900. Experts believe the vessel sank between 70 BC and 60 BC. They claim it's 2,085 years old. From what we know, the vessel carried a cargo of luxury goods, glassware, coins, jewelry and gemstones. There were statues of marble and bronze found at the site. Hundreds of these objects were recovered back in 1976. Among many fascinating objects found in the area, there is also a celestial calculator known as the Antikythera Mechanism. We have mentioned this a few times, but this object is too incredible to ignore. This object is believed to be capable of displaying various dates. It shows the position of the sun and moon, planetary cycles, and it can even predict the eclipses over a period of 223 months. The entire site covers a lot of ground measuring around 50 square meters at ocean depths going from 40 meters to 56 meters. 
the scientist's work is far from being completed. The Antikythera holds many secrets and mysteries hidden in its watery ruins. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.